team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Indiana Hoosiers. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Hoosiers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First of all, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Lastly, Grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Inside. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Inside. Good job defensively. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. On the outside, the shooting guard handles the pass. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He fires from long range. He drains the bucket. Dribble gives it up. There's the fake. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Pressure that basketball. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Ten seconds on the shot clock. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. You betcha. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. A high screen. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. He makes a nice shot fake. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Fed the low block, trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He 
shoots from the top of the circle. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Hobbs is animated and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Great play to take that to the basket. Nelson receives the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. There's the trap. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He'll regroup the offense. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He fouled him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Basic. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Dump it inside. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. High post flashes for the opportunity. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The skip pass is picked off. Patterson handles the feed. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Sinks it. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. And he'll kick it back outside. Pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. He launches a three. Sinks the shot. Steal 
Ward go up the other way, get a layup. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solved. Blocks the shot. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The small forward receives the pass. Looking for a good shot. Stolen away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This one deserves another look, Brad. Attempts the three. He nails the shot. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. He looks for three. Got it. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. The Hoosiers prefer to play a certain type of basketball, don't they, Dave? Physicality is the name of their game. They hit the weights for one reason, so they can outmuscle their opponents. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. the dribble gives it up Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block yeah he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing nice shot both teams are looking to get something going here great pressure great double team really explosive he bombs from outside Steals a pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shoots from right of the circle. Martin hits the three. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There's the screen up on top. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Cue up the replay, fellas. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Just good, solid first half NCAA tournament basketball. Dick, that's all this one's come down to. Two good teams, they belong here, and they're playing like it. I'll tell you one thing, quality performances by both clubs. They are really responding and laying right at the right moment. I think that old cliche really jumps here. It's going to be really sad that one of these clubs are going to be bye-bye and out of the NCAA. Boy, 
terrible execution on offense. Gave it up. Up and inside. Stolen away. Center it, center it. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, go to the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Working it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. They'll work it around the arc. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Double team now. Matt. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to talk one another. Nelson steps to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. the perimeter he launches the bomb he gets the bucket to fall watch again they work the perimeter he's got an open look for the shot we'll take the shot the Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. It sticks. Dump it inside. Unloads. Great shot. the perimeter from three-point range goes only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled in the paint Dick not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket not quick enough and a great reaction by the defensive post player absolute mayhem this place will be in disarray Dick if they can get a stop Intercepted. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He cleans the glass. There they come with a double team to stop it. There's the pick. There's the roll. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The golden flashes are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. It's the first. good he takes the rebound tries for two and in and out I 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Takes the pass in the paint. He up fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it go. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Gave it up. From left of the circle, he gets that one to fall. Top of the key. He shows the sweet touch. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He shoots from the top of the circle. He knocks down another bucket. Oh, this kid's got skills, Brad. The crowd begins to chant. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He intercepts it. Great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. Fakes the shot. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Here's a double team. And they get the turnover. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. At halftime, the Golden Flashes are behind by three. Indiana really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Indiana, they really love their hoops. Basketball in Indiana has even inspired a movie or two. Well, the mentality in Indiana is basketball. They're really passionate about their hoops. Jumped in front to take it away. And the ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. 
Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He's got some room. They're working around the arc. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He pulls the trigger off the rim and no good. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. The ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. The point guard in the paint, trying to draw the foul. That was absolutely phenomenal. There's the trap. He unloads, makes it. Goes out of bounds. The center gets the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. And he knocked it home. <laughs> On the inside, goes up for two. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The power forward with the ball. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The shooting guard gets the ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts you can play halfway. You... That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The center takes the pass. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the outside, picks off the lazy pass. 
the dribble gives it up stolen ball alley-oop down on the low block trying to work the lane Indiana have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He'll go to the line. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Gets the second shot. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Gave it up. Fakes a jumper. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Tries to get the D to bite. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They tried to double team there, Dick. They were just a little late on the rotation. In the paint for the bucket. They still don't score. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They work the perimeter. Up fake. They work it around the perimeter. It slaps the rock out of there. Working it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. He takes the three. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He strips him clean. In the post. Leans in. The layup is good. Side. They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Oh. Look at that spacing. Great defense. There should be an easy bucket. He posterized it. That's incredible. Oh, 
Mr. Nestler. There's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. Here's the toss back out from the post. Is there a coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer? Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three. Indiana is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Takes the feed. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Back to the action now in a half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Tries for two. That's 12 on answer. <laughs> Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He throws it up from downtown. Some schools have history, but the Hoosiers have arguably one of the most historic programs in the country, Dick. Brad with the championships, the old school uniforms, some warm-up pants, assembly hall. It's hard to argue with that statement. Picked off. Working around the perimeter. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball though? Robs him of the ball. Up and inside. Tries a three. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. He intercepts it. Gets it back out. Here's a flash from the high post. Jumps into the defender. Indiana have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Working around the perimeter from the top of the circle. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Double team now, Matt Angle. Great play to take that to the basket. Knocked out of there, blocked. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Paint for the deuce. Perfectly executed. Intercepted.
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Golden Flashes are trailing by six. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position. Wow, look at him rotate over. It's a fast break possibility for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious rub with their shooting, Brad. Here's a double team on the outside. Gets it back out. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Takes away the pass. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. You can't be that aggressive. And he's going to pick up the foul at all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the line. First one is good. Gets the second. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He shoots from the baseline. He buries the shot. goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Take it away. It looks to be down emotionally. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. They'll work it around the arc. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steals the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. They push it up on the break. Indiana are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. The three. He makes the shot. He goes with a baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
There's the trap. With great anticipation for the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like, oh, yeah. They work the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He shows the sweet touch. Goes up for two. Rims out. I think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Makes it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the pass. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, strong. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He grabs the rebound. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Indiana are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. He comes away with it. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Definitely a foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. It's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And yet another foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Just like in practice. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it.
We're about ready to start things up again. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Gets the ball and now faces his man down to the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. A chance for one and the bonus. Makes the front end of the one and one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Makes his second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He shoots. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Hobbs is receiving a lot of support from the fans. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. On the dribble, gives it up. They're working around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. They're working around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Indiana opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.